Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So we're back on the left hand uh, motion bracket today. Um, I didn't bother filming it, but I've um, mixed up some uh, rapid epoxy, the 15 minute stuff. As you can see it's already going off. And I've um, just filled in a few areas which were a little bit uh, suboptimal, shall we say. So I've just sort of smooth, smoothed in these edges on this just to make it look a bit more like a casting. Uh, the bit where I undercut slightly I've put some epoxy there and filled in this hole and also on the inside. Hopefully you can see all that. So um, I'm just that's just started to go off now. It's uh, just starting to harden. Um, so obviously you can see I've primed it. When I'll, I'll rub these bits down once the the epoxy is fully dry. We can give it a coat of um, give it a coat of black. Um, but the next next job now is to address um, the bushes that go into all these holes. Um, because this is isn't designed, it, it would appear there's a bit of a divergence between the design of this bracket and the one that model works have done so unfortunately most of these holes are too big for the bushes that model works supply now, i have got most of the bushes but obviously they're the wrong size so rather than make new bushes i'll probably just make up adapter rings on the lathe uh, to fit to fit um to fit these bushes in so um, that's today's job is to make up some adapters so we can use the bushes. So uh, quite a bit of lathe work today, so that'll be fun. So here, here's an example of the problem I've got. This is the weight shaft bush. And as you, as you can see, it's quite a loose fit in the hole in the in the um, bracket. So I'll, um, I'll measure the difference between these two and we'll make up a little bush. To fit in there. Uh, I need two of them because I need one for the other side as well. So we've got two of those bushes so we need two adapters. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Just use a bit of a fairly accurately machined bar just to set the zero. Okay, that's the first couple of adapters made. I'm gonna this this one's a little bit loose, so I shall put some Loctite on it. Um, I need to just clean up the uh, where the where the parting off tools left a bit. But uh, so yeah, pleased with that. Let's get on to the next ones. I'll I'll do it in time lapse the other ones, but uh, if 
I've got to do um, the first lot of lathe work in real time just so you get a feel for how quickly you can make these. Okay, I've loctited this in. I also, um, off camera, just filed off the um, araldite just so it's a reasonable sort of shape. And, and, uh, and I've got rid of the excess. So it looks alright to me. So, um, the next bushes we're going to do are, are these two, um, which supports um, this, this thing, uh, which adjusts the timing. So there's a bush at each end. So we'll uh, get those done next. Okay, so that's the, the two um, bushes done for this part. On to the next one. So luckily this front bush does fit. I just need to drill through holes for mounting. Um, but the rear bush, unfortunately, is loose. So we need to make one more bush for each side for that one. And then, uh, and then that's all the bushes done. So good progress. So that's the inner bushes um, made, or the bushes for the inner bushes, or the bushes for the bushes, I don't know. Anyway, that's them made, so we'll just uh, pop a little bit of Loctite on and uh, spin it round, push it into place, do the same on this one, spin it round, push it into place, and we'll let that um, let that set, shouldn't take too long. I'm just using uh, 603 today, that's the first one I picked up. It's bearing retaining compound, so it's actually the proper stuff. But I don't think it's that critical, really. I'm just wiping off the excess, and uh, yeah, there, they, there you go. So we've got inner bushes, we've got outer bushes, we've got those, and we've done the two for the weight shaft the weight shaft in case you were wondering so I've actually got that that's good uh, yeah so next job I think is to drill some holes to mount um, mount that bush or drill and tap rather uh, which will be quite good and then then we're ready for paint um, Let's just give it another quick spray of uh, primer, etch primer, and then we'll uh, we'll paint them all up. So we don't uh, this this can stay black, but I'll, I will mask the inside so we're not affecting the bearing surface. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So this is the part that comes with the kit. Uh, I've, I've just um, just checked. Uh, with an M2.5 because it's very close to 8BA but it, it is um, M2.5 these uh, screws that come with it so I need to tap this um, this part M2.5 now these four holes so you drill through the metal and then tap afterwards Okay, that's the um, just spot in through just to get the centre. Right, we're going the, with the tapping drill. Okay, now we're going to tap. Use a bit of IPA as a lubricant. So 
That doesn't seem to be cutting that well. I think I might go up a drill size. Seems to be quite difficult. So I was using it, it should be 2.05. I was using um, just a two. I think I'll go up to 2.1, which is actually about 2.07. I'll probably lock tight these anyway, I think. Yeah, that feels a lot, uh, a lot easier. Much more like it. goes in it goes in lovely excellent that's fantastic okay so that's all the bushes um fitted in um didn't, didn't it hasn't taken too long this, it was a little bit difficult getting this aligned uh, probably need to do a little bit more work but you can see now that that's the the lifting arm I think there must there needs to be some sort of bush here to stop stop doing like I just did. So I'm not quite sure what stops that, but um, get the, the basic idea there. Um, so I'm re reasonably happy. the The clearance wasn't great in this slot for this, um, and I needed to do quite a bit of fettling around the forks on the on this lifting arm. But overall, it's not been too, and I've had to tweak this side a little bit just to get everything lined up. I'll probably ease these bearings a tiny bit as well at some point, but I'll probably save that for final assembly. So it's, uh, I'm quite pleased with that now. Uh, it needs a good clean up, it needs a paint, but we've got all the bushes in. So that's the left hand bracket. Uh, pretty much complete now really. I've, I've filled in the bits that I wanted to fill in. So it needs, uh, yeah, like I say, needs a clean, needs a paint. And then uh, we're ready to start the next side really. Or I can start looking at the, the parts that go get connector here. So the radius, uh, not radius arm, the expansion link. So the in expansion link is supported from these two um, bearings and then that lift, lifts the link. So um, I'll have a think and uh, decide what I want to do next. But uh, Anyway, I uh, hope you found that interesting and helpful if you're building the kit yourself or just entertaining really. Um, yeah, leave, leave some comments, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.